Hi, I'm Dave from Military Antiques Toronto, and today we're going to be discussing World War II Canadian battle dress. So battle dress as opposed to service dress are short instead of long. Uh, service dress are four pocket, battle dress are short, they're worn in the field in general. Um, today I have an assortment of battle dress. Uh, some of this is mine, most of it's mine. Some of it I'm storing for a friend of mine whose wife will not allow him to bring it home. Yes, these things happen. Um, so the difference between the early battle dress and the later one is that they, the earlier one has a plastic button, whereas the later pattern has a metal button. Uh, that only specifically refers to the epaulette only. It is not referred to the rest of the battle dress, which has metal buttons. And this does not refer at all to British pattern battle dress, which are different than the Canadian pattern battle dress. This one here is a, a British pattern battle dress and all the rest are Canadian. So you'll see the difference in the material. Even if you look at the Canadian ones, all the different varieties, there's different shades because there's different manufacturers that when they made the wool and the dye process. Um, in reference to the shoulder titles and insignia that are on them, you do have to be careful because there are unscrupulous people out there who like to sew things together. Unfortunately, with the advent of the German collectibles and the Canadian, and even the British, um, it's gotten more popular, so people are adding things. How to tell the difference. Um, for starters, look at the thread, the stitching. Also look at the inside of the tunic, because that's fine, but you can sometimes see shadows of other units that were in there, or other patches that were on there. Now, of course, if this person who's made this up is taking a original uh, blank battle dress and put something on it. Well, obviously it's not, you're not going to see any shadow on it, but if they've taken a battle dress and repatched it, then it's problematic because you can tell it's not original. Um, the other thing to look for is that the patches are sunken into the fabric. So if you'd taken this patch and just sewn this on just now, like the fakers like to do, it wouldn't have been sucked into the material, so there's sort of an indent in the material. You can't really fake that from so long. Now, having said that, if someone made that in the 80s and put a patch on, it might be on there long enough that you would think that it was original. Unfortunately, it's not. Also, take a black light, check the stitching. They use cotton stitching during World War II, not uh, synthetic stitching, synthetic thread. You have to keep an eye on that because the fakers are also using uh, cotton thread instead of synthetic. Those are just a few tips. Um, in reference to naming on battle dress, we all want them to be named to some decorated or researchable guy. The reality is that 90% plus of them did not have a name in them. Out of all these battle dress, truthfully, I think there's two of them that have a name. Um, this uh, Beach Commando one has a name in it. Still, um, I have the research on them. This is my friend's, so he's not allowed to bring home. Um, this one here, um, this one here has a name in it and I have the research on it right there. But you don't normally find them named. So don't be worried that just because it doesn't have a name means that you can't own it and that it's not real. Most of them were not named at all. Um, there's all different types. Everyone seems to want ones with div patches on. The reason for that, of course, uh, the Belgians, the French, the Dutch, uh, because of the balance of Northwest Europe, everyone wants third division uh, stuff because that's what's collectible for that area. They ignore um, what's called the D-Day Jodgers, the first div and the fifth div, uh, and the fourth div that were in Italy and the south of France even. They ignore it, it doesn't exist because that's not where the prime collecting is. I would rather have a tunic to the first division for Italy who were there earlier rather than somebody who, oh no, they're only at D-Day. That's the way the people work. That's the way they think. Um, I hope that helps and shows you some stuff that is currently on the website. Uh, some of it's not, but most of it is. Check out the website, militaryantiquestoronto.com.